Because Jean Canu is a cultural unifier, I think about it bringing persons together, whether you suffer from a mental disability or not, it's still something that brings us all together in celebration, in appreciation, together in our culture. actually doubt for a long time I I was a person that always felt that my work wasn't good enough and it was not until I started working very closely with young people that I realized that I can't preach it them to preach it to them if I don't practice it and for a long while It was like, Abby, your work isn't, it isn't good enough. It isn't, it isn't what everybody wants to see. And then one day it just hit me while talking to some students. And it was like, it is good enough because it got me this far. And it is good enough because it makes me happy. I get inspiration from myself. Um, and I get inspiration um, thinking about how I can be a better artist, not only for myself, but for my students, because in order for them to succeed, they have to see success. And that drives me every day. So that's really what my inspiration is. When I put in my proposal, I, I thought automatically if I was successful that I would use that as an opportunity for my kids to get this whirlwind of experience and it's come to the point where it's like the kids are teaching me something and they're teaching me um they keep they're teaching me dedication i'm dedicated but for the kids to come out um on their on their breaks like their weekends and after school and during the christmas you know that really, that really touched my heart because I know they, they, in their minds, they could be doing something different, something better. But they chose to do this because they haven't invested. They, they, they invested in this mural. You know, they invested their time, they invested their input, and they, they, they want to see it come to fruition. They wanna, they wanna see the finished product, and I'm happy to, to have them involved in that because then. That would encourage them to apply that same dedication, um, that same investment to their work and to things that they do in their everyday life that matters to them. So I, I, feel, like, I feel like making this a teachable moment was important because many of them would not have gained the dedication or the focus that they would have wanted to um, have. But, you know, they always talk about, oh, I want to be more focused on my work. I want to I want to do this and I want to do that but they they wouldn't have had that that skill or that that dedication to actually hone that to say you know what I have to sit down and I have to focus and coming to um uh, a spot like this has provided that that teaching because it's like it all started off it all started off with just one wall you know it started off with with like the process of priming the wall and then also you know casting the, the the drawings onto it because it's like moving from paper to this big surface and you're like how do I get this from this little piece of paper onto this large wall so it's like it takes this this time to sit down and think and to to game plan to make adjustments and for them to say well Miss Smith I know we you know I know we were talking about this color but how about we use this color here instead? And you know, it's 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 giving it's affording them the opportunity to to be more involved in what it is that they put their mind to. Because you could be involved in something in something and not really have a focus towards it. But they're involved in this and their focus and their 
willing to, to to learn more they're willing to do different things that they would not have been able to do inside of the classroom and so this teachable moment has has taken us outside the four walls the four walls of the classroom and taken us into this forum into this this community which otherwise the kids would not have done they would not have come out of their homes to do this they would not have taken it upon themselves they would have just said well okay the wall is pretty and let's keep it moving but you know even moving from just the students in the classroom you know we treat the community as the classroom because persons are learning you know that something like this doesn't happen overnight it's a process and they're learning that okay before you do anything the walls have to go from white and then it has to go to black and white or whatever whatever utensil you choose to use and then it goes to like this imagery and then it just starts to tell a story and a lot of times you would find that you find that the students are you know the ones having to tell the story to the persons who have to the persons who have um, come and stopped to the wall, you know, people are learning why this is here. People are even learning that, you know, murals exist because before this, you know, I can attest to this, persons could not tell you what a mural is. But, you know, of course, you know, if I always encourage my students, you know, if you don't know, ask. And I love seeing persons, you know, stop and come by and say, oh, well, what's this going on? And so it's like, it's like your classroom, you find yourself having to teach the same lesson every day and tell everybody that. My experience working at the wall along with my teacher, I learned a lot of new things that I could put to use with my own artwork. I learned how to use spray paint and I also realized how good it could feel getting encouragement from others. Having people stop by and talk to us and people blowing their horns from their cars driving past is very endearing and a good experience. Working with my teacher was a very fun experience. It's the most fun part about this is the highlight of it, I could say. She's very charismatic. Some of her quirks rubbed off on me, for sure. So that's a good thing. Um, she is a very easy to get with person. She can cope her energy to match with anybody else's. And I think that's the best part about my art teacher. Okay, so working with Ms. Smith was very fun. It really was. Um, she is a very inspirational person. She's very creative. And she rubbed off on me. I wasn't afraid to be myself around her, which is a good thing. And yes, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Ms. Smith has actually taught me quite a lot. Speaking of Ms. Smith, it has actually been very fun to work with her. She's a funny person. Um, she's also very caring and she keeps it real. And she has about a million catchphrases. Um, she calls everybody a big dusty. I don't know what that's about, but like, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> and she makes up a lot of words. And I've picked up a lot of her catchphrases. And a lot of people ask me, why, where do you even get that from? And then I'll be like, my art teacher, Miss Smith. <laughs> jungle because because even in my sleep I feel it and that's so weird <laughs> you know um you know you feel jungle when you actually when you hear it and then the the imagery the costumes the bright colors the patterns everything starts to jump out at you and so like you're just engulfed in this experience I love jungle because it makes me feel good I love jungle because it, it brings this attachment to to the home, to a celebration that you don't often get to celebrate because you know for here, although we have little Junkanoo parades throughout the year, the major ones, which is like Christmas and, and New Year's, it's like, it's a different type of feeling, it's a different type of atmosphere and there's this anticipation that 
like I know for me especially even when I'm designing costumes when I'm designing costumes all I get here is dun 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 I get hear that I get hear all of that Ah, uh, for as long as I can remember, mental disabilities have, has been a thing, as in discrimination or the stigma attached to it, because, you know, there are a lot of persons who feel like there's something wrong with your family, something's wrong with you, some, like, it just has to be one person, and then everybody, something's wrong with the entire family, and sometimes I, I, I would, you know, voice my opinion on the fact that just because they're different doesn't mean that they're wrong or there's something wrong with them. And, you know, even in the classroom, you know, if a kid learns differently and they don't catch on to something like other students, you know, you will see them being bullied to no end because persons just don't understand them. And all it takes is you, you know, taking time out to figure out how they learn. And, you know, this institution, the Stapleton School is very good at the fact of, excellent I should say, at the fact of really trying to, I would guess, I don't want to use the word care, but trying to, to, to nurture, to mold these students um, with these mental disabilities into persons that can actually function within our society. Because, you know, for a lot of people, mental disability equates to them being invalid. To them not being not having the ability to do anything you know their persons have to do it for them it may be true to a degree that persons may have to do things for them that we may we may consider to be like just like an everyday task but it doesn't it doesn't make them any less of a human and you know I have had a friend whose whose daughter you know she attended the stable in school and she is a beautiful individual she's kind-hearted she's she's loving she's understanding and guess what you know she'll talk to me and she'll be like miss abby you know how you doing you're doing a great job you know i love what you do i love i love your hair every time it's about my hair because she's fascinated by the colors in my hair but the everyday tasks that that we perform she does the same thing and that's partially um because of the, the, the dedication that this school has offered or has afforded these students. And, you know, we have to celebrate that, you know, it takes a great, it takes great heart. It takes great heart for, for, um, for persons to dedicate themselves to, to, to an institution that is solely dedicated to those with disabilities. And, you know, I'm proud to be putting this on this wall because, you know, it makes people question why this wall, why this imagery. And, you know, they find out that, you know, there's a deeper story to it. It's not just pretty or it's not just colorful. It's not just engaging, but it's also a reality, even though it's, you know, is is highly, you know, colorful and you know, imaginative and creative, there's still a deeper story behind it. It's, um, I feel as though this mural is important to like bring awareness to mental health and mental disabilities because I'm sure many people have passed the school before and never even looked in this direction, but now that this big wall, this big mural is here. People actually look out their windows when they're passing and you know stop to actually look at it. The message behind this mural is a very sentimental but also big meaning that'll combine people of all sorts together. Using Junkanoo is such a big platform that everybody likes with people with mental disabilities it makes them feel like they belong and they have something they can do with others despite their disability so
having John Canoe mixed with students on the wall, on a very large wall, it shows the message broadly because just to have it as just a poster and showing it to people, people wouldn't take it much into consideration as seeing it on a long road. Well, when you pass this area, before this, the color started to go on the wall, before it was primed, before it was painted white, you would just pass this, this wall and not really think about how art can be here. And then it took it being painted white because I can, I can remember when I, when I was out here with my team of students and we started to paint this wall white and people were stopping trying to figure out what was going on. And then we had like a cheering squad. I guess, you know, because people were trying to figure out, oh, are they doing some type of community service or something like that. I think we owe it to ourselves to give back to our community. I think we owe it to ourselves to put more art in the community. Um, just for a sense of, of, of having that, that creative space where you can just commingle with people and you see something like this and you're automatically drawn to the colors because you want to go up and touch it. Who knows, when you go up and touch it, if you're not a person who go up and touch it, you meet somebody new. Then people want to know why these two people are touching the mural. And then the next set of people stop and then, you know, it becomes a thing where it's like, oh, I saw you by the mural, or I saw you paint the mural, or I saw you talking to somebody that was by the mural. And that's something that I want. That's something that I, I want persons to, I want persons to really come and engage with it. Things like this give communities a, a better future because they're like, I want more of this, I want to see more of that. And to be quite honest, I had a person, a gentleman, he was an older gentleman, he came and he stopped here and he said, you know, I haven't seen anything like this where I live. How could I get something like this where I live? And it was like, something like this has inspired you to want something like that where you live. He was like, I could, I could, I could see myself passing that on my way home from work. So it's like something to look forward to. You know what may work for me, man. When I see a mural, I want to figure out. But what was the process behind that? Like, what was the design? What, what did you think about? How did you get, um, go about getting the mural? Another person is. I just think it's pretty, and I look forward to passing it every day. No matter what the reason is for you having the mural in your community, the fact is is that it's making an impact. However, that impact, how great. How small it, it's it's an impact nonetheless. A takeaway from my experience here is do not be afraid to express yourself. This is a very big canvas, and looking at it, you might be in, um, intimidated. But Miss Smith and everybody who works here just took on the challenge. So don't be afraid of anything and express yourself.